Today I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your garden with the help of EMT conduit and other ordinary materials. Let's get into it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake and if this is your first time here, we share weekly videos with build inspiration, tips and tricks, hacks, and other creative uses of ordinary materials. Also, you can get the most out of your DIY projects. If you like seeing videos like that, then definitely consider subscribing. We appreciate it. It's already the end of January, which means spring is fast approaching. Most likely, you've already started planning your upcoming garden and the builds that go along with it. Over the last few years, we've seen a ton of amazing EMT conduit gardening projects in the community. Today, we're going to look at a bunch of different builds so you can maximize your upcoming garden. We're also going to look at some creative hacks and benefits for using EMT conduit along the way. If you don't already know, EMT conduit is a readily available galvanized steel pipe that you can find in the electrical aisle of your local hardware or home improvement store. It's an often underrated material for DIY projects, but it has a ton of great benefits in the garden. You've probably heard about or had firsthand experience with wood rotting in the garden. This is because untreated wood is usually the material of choice for trellises and things like that. Chemically treated wood causes the plants to be contaminated and unsafe to eat. If you're looking for an alternative to wood, EMT conduit is a great option for you when building in the garden. As I said, it's readily available off the shelf and it's fairly inexpensive. It's steel, so it's really strong and the galvanized coating protects it from the weather when used in outdoor projects in gardens, for example. Gardeners have used EMT conduit for greenhouses and hoop houses and things like that for years and years without any signs of rust. I was curious about galvanization and did a little research to see if it would contaminate gardening soil. Kevin from Epic Gardening did a great blog on this topic and I'll link it down below if you're interested in reading the whole thing. The quick answer is EMT conduit and galvanized steel is perfectly fine and safe to use in the garden. With that peace of mind, we can get into the fun stuff. What can you actually build in the garden with EMT conduit? These are clamps that we make in our shop in South Carolina, and they allow you to connect pieces of conduit together in different variations. They clamp together, which means you can reuse them or move them if you need to make changes to your gardening projects down the road. Conduit is really easy to cut with this simple hand tool, and our connectors go together with a single five millimeter hex wrench. Because the tools are simple, they don't require any power, you can work on your project right in the garden. We're going to look at trellises, hydroponic frames, greenhouses, enclosures, and more builds from the community, starting with trellises. Most commonly, garden beds are raised off the ground and built out of wood. You can also use EMT conduit for a framework for a garden bed, like Rita did here in this build. Once you have your garden bed in place, you'll most likely want to add a trellis to it. Trellises are used to give climbing plants like tomatoes and cucumbers a place to grab onto. They're also good for providing support to plants so they don't fall over. You can build garden trellises really easy with EMT conduit. Because conduit is so easy to cut, you can customize the dimensions to fit really any space and garden bed that you have. Here's a simple trellis built by Daniel. As you can see, he's got a couple of smaller raised beds and he's using some EMT conduit and a handful of connectors to make a really simple and effective trellis design. We've also seen some larger trellises like this one from Donald. Conduit allows you to get really creative and maximize your garden efficiently. Cherry has a walkway between two garden beds and she made a trellis arch over top of the walkway. Joseph needed something similar in his garden as you can see here. They both have a similar concept, but they're built a little differently because the garden beds are different shapes and sizes. There are a lot of other creative trellis builds in the community and I'll be sure to link the ones that we talk about today along with the actual gardening section of the community so you can get more ideas if you're interested. When adding a trellis to your garden, there's a couple of problems that you'll need to solve. One of which is how to actually secure or stabilize a trellis in your garden. This is a really easy problem to solve. If you have a raised bed made from conduit, you can simply build off of it and add your trellis to it. If you have a raised bed made from wood, then you can pick up some of these one hole or two hole straps that allow you to secure conduit to a flat surface with some screws. Towards the end of the video, we're going to talk about how you can actually plan out your garden build, so make sure you stick around for that. You can also make a freestanding trellis that is secured in the ground using some off-the-shelf metal stakes. All you have to do is hammer them into the ground and then slide the conduit over top of them. From there, you can build your trellis with more connectors and conduit. Once you have the framework built, you'll probably want to add some netting to your trellis. You can pick up rolls of trellis netting or make some yourself. And there's quite a few solutions for attaching the netting to the conduit frame. You can sort of weave the netting around the conduit pipes in the build or you can use some zip ties, which are really simple and effective. Now you've got a trellis built and secured, but of course the critters are not gonna leave it alone. They're gonna come by and take advantage of this unprotected buffet you just built for them. 
Another great gardening project with EMT Conduit is an enclosure to protect your plants. Just like with a trellis, you can customize an enclosure to fit your garden exactly how you want it to. To build an enclosure, you basically want to make a rectangle or cube framework around your garden and then use some sort of material to enclose the frame. The size and the type of the material that you use for the enclosure really depends on where you live and what kind of animals you're trying to keep out. You can get chicken wire with really small diameter holes, which work really well to keep out birds and other small animals. If you're trying to keep out deer and other larger animals, then I would recommend some thick gauge chicken wire or something like hardware cloth. To attach the material to the framework is really simple and there's quite a few solutions, but zip ties, again, are hard to beat based on the cost and ease of use. Another great option is bendable metal wire that you can use to secure different things to the frame. Also very similar to a trellis, you can secure an enclosure to a raised bed or make a freestanding enclosure using the methods that we mentioned earlier. We've also seen some builders make enclosure frames with wood and then slot holes in the wood so the conduit can sit down in it. You'll probably wanna add a gate to your enclosure so you have easy access to your plants. Really the only problem you have to solve is making a hinge, but there's a couple of great solutions for that. We have made a adjustable angle hinge connector that works well for making a hinged gate. We also did a roundup of eight different DIY hinges from the community. There's a lot of great options and solutions in there. So definitely check out that video or blog, which is linked down below, if you're interested in adding a gate to your enclosure. Obviously, sunlight is a crucial part of gardening, but it can also have negative effects if you live in a really hot climate. You can easily add a sunshade to your garden with the help of EMT Conduit. All you have to do is build a framework around the area that you want to be shaded, and then secure it to your garden with the various methods that we've mentioned in today's video. Once you have the framework in place, all you have to do is secure the sunshade material to it. We've seen a bunch of different great solutions from the community, like zip ties and even retractable sunshades made with carabiners. We did a full roundup of these solutions, and I'll be sure to link that in the description as well. You can also use the heat and sun to your advantage. Builders have used conduit to make portable and smaller greenhouses. We've even seen large cold frames and full-size greenhouses made with conduit in the community. Just like all the other builds mentioned today, you can customize the shape and size of a greenhouse to fit your exact needs. To mount greenhouse plastic to a conduit frame, you can use some of these inexpensive plastic clips that clamp over top of the plastic and conduit and have a nice secure fit. Hydroponic and aquaponic gardening are two other popular techniques, and EMT Conduit makes a great framework material for the stands. You can make sturdy frames to support the trays and lights and PVC plumbing. We've got a ton of great examples in the community, like this one from Bill. As you can see, he built a frame that holds the trays and also secures the lights and plumbing to the framework using metal straps and other materials. If you're looking to build with hydroponics for the first time, or you just want to advance your knowledge, I definitely recommend the YouTube channel On The Grow. They have a ton of great videos, including a full 40 minute tutorial on building a maker pipe and conduit framework for hydroponics. And they also include a tutorial on how to get a system up and running on that framework. It's super informative and I'll link it down below if you're interested. EMT Conduit is a great building material for all kinds of DIY projects in the garden. You're probably thinking, well, that's great and all, but how do I actually plan out a build? I would start by getting some ideas from the community. You can use the search function or simply browse the community and find all kinds of amazing trellises, greenhouses, among other things. Once you get some ideas and inspiration going, you can pick up some mini connectors and start planning out your own build. These mini connectors replicate the full size connectors for conduit and they allow you to really visualize and see what you need for your project. I promise if you can model a mini version, then you won't have any issues replicating it and building a full size project. Do you remember Joseph's archway trellis from earlier? He used the mini connectors to plan out the build and see exactly what connectors he needed. We've also seen enclosures, greenhouses, and other builds modeled first and then turned into full size projects. Sketching on paper and 3D modeling software are other great options if you have the skill set. As always, we're here to help with your project, whether it's in the garden, in the garage, or inside the house. So definitely reach out if you have any questions or need any help with your builds. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.